After spate of civilian killings, there have been many changes which have taken place in Jammu and Kashmir. Part of the consolidated action is also the teams have been sent there by MHA. On ground, it's also the NIA which has been conducting raids over various cases. We have with us DG CRPF as well as DG NIA. Kuldeep Singh, uh, we'll talk to him. Uh, sir, what is the sort of action which is part of the consolidated program? Uh, a new case, we've been told, has been registered uh, to bust the terror networks, uh, whether it's overground workers or those who are providing logistical uh, support to terror groups, be it uh, Hezbollah Mujahideen, lashkar e taiba Do elaborate on the case. How is both CRPF and NIA acting in this particular case? You know that after uh, abrogation of uh, 370 and uh, 35A, there has been a marked improvement in the uh, valley situation. But somehow or the other, recently what we have seen is that they have come up uh, with uh, civilian killings and uh, all those people who had never been targets earlier. After this, now, after this and before uh, this also, there has been some activity on the drones front as well as the IEDs were being sent from that side. A lot of drones have been uh, sighted as well as one or one, at least one drone has been caught also. There has been attack on Jammu, uh, this thing, the Air Force uh, uh, headquarter, headquarters. Also that day itself or a day before, there was a seizure of a huge IED. So uh, at least that, those could be busted otherwise. So we could uh, judge and see that at least a large number of terror networks like uh, Jash network, then uh, the other network, Lashkar, which is called Lashkar, then Al-Badar, then, Al -Badar, then Hizibul Mujahideen, then so many other TRF, maybe that the, this thing, the uh, voice against uh, fascist forces and those kind of networks, lot of uh, networks, some known, some unknown, have been sprung up. So we did not have uh, any case in which uh, we could book them. Unless and until uh, they have some activity, now, uh, there are two kinds of cases which are generally started. One is that activity-oriented cases where a person has already committed some kind of offence and then uh, you are going for investigation, you have taken over investigation and then you go for uh, things that whoever has done it or whoever is involved in the case, you go raid and try to find out things and then uh, tie up things and put them before the court for uh, a, a trial and all. Now this case is specific in a nature that this case is against all those of all these kind of uh, terror networks and uh, other uh, who indulge in anti-national activities. There may be uh, the people who have, uh, have uh, direct links with the terror who basically execute the uh, activity or uh, provide support or the harborers or maybe that they have some kind of sympathy with them and provide them safe and shelter uh, grounds. So for that, this case has been one, one criminal case has been started. Uh, incidentally, sir, what you're talking is very significant, uh, that the ecosystem really exists, which is helping the terror groups. Uh, one part is uh, that we've seen as far as targeting of minorities is concerned, and that spike is being seen as part of civilian violence. Uh, how do you contain this? Because since you are holding uh, two charges, both of NIA and DG, uh, CRP. You have, seen, you have seen that NIA is basically uh, carrying out the activity which IB or other intelligence agencies are providing them. IB is holding uh, these thing rates for the cases which had been uh, instituted earlier or the uh, which has been instituted just now. That is one part of it. Now, uh, uh, much before this, the CRPF and JK police is doing uh, their work along with the RR also. Now, to even today, there has been at least two operations in which three uh, these things, the terrorists have been neutralized. So those activities are going on side by side to nab them, to uh, tackle them, to engage them, and uh, wherever the uh, these uh, terror network operatives are... Uh, there are several quarters who have been discussing that uh, NI is likely to take up case of uh, the minorities killing. Is that correct, sir? Actually, uh, that case, as and when uh, the angle of uh, that kind of activity comes up where uh, um, if the network comes up in such a way uh, in that killing that th those people, if they belong to some kind of bigger network who are indulge, who indulging in uh, big activity, or those kind of activities which are international in nature, 
or uh, the uh, those terror networks are being operated from Pakistan and all. We will definitely take up. Is there an indication to what you're saying? Is it linked to, uh, you it know, because depend. many, will, many, will, many also indicating. It will, it will depend. It will depend on the, uh, what investigation JK Police is putting as of now. But, uh, but uh, uh, we've as seen as terror networks largely operating based on directions of Pakistan ISI and this. Mm -hmm. Is there a local connect to the Pakistan? Is there some intercept? Is there uh, some... That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That uh, so long as this doesn't come up, we do not have any role to play. But as soon as JKP comes up, because presently JKP is investigating the case, as soon as JKP comes up with this findings in their uh, investigation, that uh, these operatives who have killed uh, these civilians and minorities have a terror network and have their footholds in Pakistan or some other places from where these bigger terror groups which want to create uh, the instability in India are there, they will definitely write to uh, MHA and if MHA directs, we will definitely take over. No issues. Also, uh, since minorities and law and order are something both CRPF takes care of, uh, we've seen there is intensification as far as security checks and NACAs and uh, cordon and search operations are concerned. Is there a step up as far as uh, security for minorities are concerned because they continue to be soft targets? Actually, uh, security for minorities as such uh, is what uh, JK Police may be taking care of. But whatever uh, daily meetings goes on with JKP and us, we actually, we have definitely stepped up our also deployment and uh, uh, the uh, forces which are in preparedness, uh, like putting on surprise nakas, like putting on... Uh, the checkings in those places which uh, earlier were not there. Also uh, thinking that in what areas minorities uh, live in a bigger way or uh, their uh, population is more. So patrolling in those areas. But you're also kind of guarding areas. some of the camps where uh, the migrants are staying. Is there a stricter measure? Is there some input that there could be more attacks? Is I, there don't, I don't have any knowledge that migrants are staying and we have any... Uh, this thing, the, uh, we are providing security in any migrants' places. I don't know that. Where is that? So, so there, 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 are, there are camps, uh, in, in security is provided, and CRP. I don't have any idea because mm -hmm. uh, since I have joined and I have visited minimum four, five, six times there, in none of the uh, presentations I came across that CRPF alone is guarding any of such migrant camps. Mm -hmm. If there is any. Not, in, not alone, but in conjunction with JNK. No, that also didn't come up. In my any of the presentation, so I have no knowledge. I will check up on that. All right. Also, thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you.